Honourable Robert Somewhat, Chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board, Captain Chester Wu, CEO of Civil Aviation Authority Malaysia Cha'am, Mr. Wu Jintong, Chairman of the ASEAN Business Aviation Association, ASBA, Ms. Aida Ismail, Governor and Chairperson for ASBA Malaysia, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to everyone. First of all, I would like to thank ASBA for kindly inviting me to say a few words at your inaugural Business Aviation Safety Forum held in Malaysia. I congratulate you on this significant milestone and we are honoured to be part of your historic event. The, Malay the Ministry of Transport's participation in this forum aims to underscore the government's commitment towards the growing business aviation and general aviation community in Malaysia while ensuring that safety considerations remain at the forefront. Let me also take this opportunity to specially thank Chairman Samwat for making the time to be with us despite the late night hour in Washington now. Thank you very much. To start, I wish to applaud ASBA as a non-profit member of the International Business Aviation Council, IBEC, and affiliated with the National Business Aviation Association, USA, and a BAA for recently re registering, registering its Malaysian chapter with the Registrar of Societies at the end of 2020 under the name Business Aviation Association. This bodes well for Malaysian general and business aviation as it allows members of this community in Malaysia more access to ASBAL's significant resources via their membership in the Malaysian chapter. I hope that ASBA continue, continues your good work as a platform for communication and activities on key issues related to BA and GA. Do your best to keep the community up to date on issues and matters related to airport access, regulation, policy, safety, and human capital development. Your network is a valuable resource for sharing knowledge and experience to the ASBA community. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that CAM, under the leadership of CEO Captain Chester Wu, will be able to keep ASBA informed on the latest standards and safety issues that affect the BA and GA industry. I believe their recommendations would do much to keep the industry flourishing, vibrant, and grow to new heights that reflects a robust economy. Likewise, do corporate closely with CAM as an industry partner so that together we can discuss and think of a new way to develop the industry and keep it flying high and safe. As much as we can see that GA and BA as an industry is taking off, we must not forget to stay grounded on the most important issue of all, safety, awareness and compliance. A few days ago, Subang Airport was the site of a rather life-threatening incident where an Airbus helicopter was forced to crash land. Fortunately, no lives were lost, but the pilot and one other passenger sustained injuries and were given medical attention. This unfortunate incident came after two more incidents in just six months, with one crash claiming the lives of two people in Taman Melawati in Kuala Lumpur. In the light of these incidents, it was imperative for CAM to quickly organize a mandatory safety briefing for all local helicopter operators, maintenance organizations, and helicopter pilots operator in Malaysia. This safety awareness exercise will cover safety management, training, hazard identification, and safety risk assessment, and factors to be considered in safety management for everyone, including small organizations. In the same light, 
we want to see more aviation operators conduct regular safety seminars and briefings to make safety awareness and compliance as in green culture. Safety must not be optional to using and enjoying private aviation. Customers and clients must also be reminded regularly to comply with safety procedures for their reassurance and also to preserve confidence in Malaysia's BA and GA industry as a whole. This is why this forum is a timely one, because we all must remember to make safety paramount in our operation and corporate culture. Even a mantra as simple as, if you want to check it, check if you have checked it, check and check it again, cannot be understated. Many lives depend on this simple rule. Ladies and gentlemen, we all understand that COVID-19 has battled aviations in, our, in all forms. Business aircraft arrivals and departures at Subang Airport in January and February this year were just under 300, compared with an average of 1,500 in 2020 and over 1,700 in 2019. But I believe that GA and BA in Malaysia is on the path for recovery following the COVID-19 pandemic and government rollout of the vaccines. We expect to vaccinate 500,000 people in phase one, 9.4 million people in the second phase this year, and 13.7 million people into 2022. In the meantime, start working together and with the civil aviation authorities to take this time to review all aspects of safety and business so that you will be poised to get right track into the game as the economy recovers. Congratulations once again to ASBA Malaysia on your inaugural Business Aviation Safety Virtual Forum. I wish all the delegates and participants insightful and fruitful deliberation in these two days. Let us all reaffirm our commitment to safety as ministry is committed to ensuring public safety in the aviation industry through effective collaboration, regulations, enforcement, and safety promotions. Thank you.